and welcome back everyone to Almost Reviews. Today we have a very special figure. This figure made a lot of people fall into the rabbit hole of the VTubers. It made me, this person was claiming to be Scatman and being a fox, but we all know she's a cat. Shurakami Fubuki from Hololive First Generation. Comes with lots of accessories, comes with the Sukombu and with the Orujanke mascots that she has. Also with a, with a special base and corn and tea because we all know she loves them. I mean, I really love Fubuki, she's my favorite VTuber, even though I didn't watch a lot of streams for her, I usually watch more Coco, rest in peace, but well guys, let's get going with this guy. So, let me know first, what VTuber made you fall into that hole? I mean, for some was this, for, the, for some others was the War Criminal, Pecora, and things like that, well, we have her, she comes with three face plates. Oh, great! The box has a lot, lots of Fubuki patterns and everything, looks very good. Instructions as usual. She comes with different ears. Well, let's look at it. So, she has a smog face plate. Let me adjust the lighting for this with a shine in her eyes happy faceplate I think lightning there there is perfect and uh, as I told you comes with a sukumbu comes with a orujanke I don't know how to pronounce it right, but it's really good, I mean, very good quality. Let me get more lighting here. Yeah, it looks very good. It has her ears and like that. Uh, let me give you a close up to this guy. Okay, close up for the corn. Very good corn, looks good. Okay, I'll check it out. Oops. Tea bottle, not that very good detail, but well, makes do. Extra pair or off arms. with a closed hand and let's go with this girl so for all those who don't know Fubuki she's from this thing called Hololive that kind of ruins people's life and makes an addiction of it you start watching one VTuber then you continue watching more and more and more and more and more so this thing claims to be a fox but <laughs> I mean, you should try joining her chat and say she's a cat. Well, that was in the old times, I don't know what happens now. So, be very good. I mean, I like it. I have always wanted a Fubuki figure, but the other two that exist, the one that is like a 127 or something, it was way before I liked her. And there was another one I never knew the pre-order went for. So change face plates oh this one comes a little bit hard usual standard android procedure articulation oh well this looks this comes with a with a real good articulation for an android this is a first for me i wish more androids came like this with a shoulder articulation wow this is a new uh, new thing for me so it's basically my best android so far as you can see it has a like a, a pain and a hinge joint so it makes for different things plus these other arms very good possibility as we can see from the get-go this one comes with a pin joint so it's only 360 no more the legs come also with articulation like that yeah so 
So far is the best Android I've ever had. I hope more Androids come with these articulations. Uh, well, the tail, I think, I assume it's also a pin and it's also a 360. The head is a ball, so it's a 360, but it's kind of hard to do it. Wow, this is the best Android so far I've ever had. So as for the special edition base, Sometimes Good Smile has it like, if you buy it through here, you get a special edition base, but well, we have her tail and her name. And we have the, oh, this is a different stand form from usual, kind of different just because of this. We have the rest of the accessories. I don't know what's the difference between these and these ears. Let me open it and I'll tell you. So, the difference between the ears, oh, they're folded to the front, yeah, looks cute. Usually, Fubuki expresses her emotions by moving her ears, so it's, it's good. We have like this expression for the hands, I don't know how it's called actually, rock and roll, I don't know, but well. With these hands, it's like the, her usual pose in a lot of official art and everything. So it's a very needed piece, very important. I probably set her up with this pair of hands either way. And bent legs. Let me order it for a good shot or something. Ear, ear. I'm missing one ear. Yep, I'm missing one ear. Where did I put it? Well, whatever. So it comes with a lot of accessories, as I just told you. I lost one ear, but doesn't matter. Well, let me show you some size comparisons about this girl and some close-ups because right now it looks like a really good figure plus my best android so far so be right back guys oh look it's not only 360 it also has a hinge joint here so yeah best android ever here for the size comparisons we have her like she's almost 12 centimeters tall because of her strand of hair no more than 5 inches a little bit less the oru yanke is like almost an inch 2 centimeters 3 and the small Sukambu is just like 2 centimeters, so not even an inch tall. Here we have her next to another Nandroid Zero 2. Like, we can see the difference on the bases. I actually like Fubuki's base. And now next to a figure that I have been waiting to upload the video, but I've been too lazy to edit. So, Pecora for Figma. I really hope we get a Figma for Fubuki too, because, well, it would be great for posing. Now, here for the Orion cape, it's just an accessory, but it looks really good, I mean, so simple, so they don't have nothing to go wrong, so the small details are really good, it has Kubuki's symbol, and you can see the seam line, but no problems. For the Sukumbu, as you can see here, I mean, same details, very good, has more, like, details, but as it's simple, with nothing to go wrong either way. For our friend, because we know, well, no, she's our friend only, we can see that it's very good, I mean, it's my favorite Nandroid so far. It has lots of details when you take a lot of attention, like in the paint. Like, let me close up. Here in the close up, you will see that the paint lines in the tail are like a little like mixed up, the white and black. Or not really good, but I don't think that's an issue. Other issues that you can see are in, on her accessories, like in her earring or in the keys, like those are not like the better, like the best paintwork you will ever see, but those are just a small detail. So other than that, I don't see any problem with this figure. Thanks to the articulations that this has, I think this is the best Nendroid ever that I've ever had. And here you can see other close-ups from another position. Really good pose ability for this figure thanks to that and well, if you can, and if you're a whole life fan, I think you already have her. I don't know what you're doing watching this video. But well, guys, this is not the video. 
Thank you a lot for watching this video and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment me which is your favorite Hololive. We will be having some more Hololive these next videos because I have more Hololive content arriving to my home. So peace out guys, see you there.